Aftermarket air suspension, you may love it, you may hate it. Regardless of what you think though, it's a pretty clever system, and here's how it works. While air suspension has been used on OEM cars for years, we'll be focusing on how most aftermarket air suspension systems work. There are a few main components to an air suspension system. Airbag struts that inflate and deflate to change the height of the car, a tank that stores the pressurized air, a pump to push the car up, sensors to control the height, and a controller to select the height wanted. So how does it actually work? Instead of having a spring, the suspension strut has a bag that is filled with air from the tank, which keeps the car at the desired height. If weight is added or removed from the car, the sensors check the height and will automatically adjust the struts to keep the desired level. However, if you want to go lower, you select the lower mode on your controller or app, which sends a signal to release the pressure in the airbags, lowering the car to where you want it. Once it raised to get over bumps, hit the higher setting and the pump kicks on to push pressurized air back into the suspension, lifting the car back up. Explanation aside, what do you think of it? A part that can ruin a good car or a clever system that gives you the best of both worlds?